I'm Jessica Raven, and your Skyline Scoop starts right now. Blood Drive sign up to have begun. You can sign up during all lunches today and Thursday in the senior cafeteria. The Blood Drive will take place on Friday. Please be sure to eat a healthy breakfast and lunch. If you take a picture at Logan's Photography, your name should be on Logan's Photograph list. Please check the list posted in the senior cafe in the front of the cafeteria or in A building. If you took a picture and your name is not on the list, call Logan's Photography at 972-224-5172. Last day to contact Logan's is Thursday, November 29th. Now it's time for your fact of the day. Star ELC retakes will be the first week of December. Seniors that have not passed any of these tests should be ready. Skyline High School has many teachers this year. Let's meet one of them, Miss Balderrama. Ms. Balderrama teaches family consumer science here at Skyline. She attended Texas Women's University in Denton, Texas. Her major was in family consumer science and minor in education. It was her dream to teach at Skyline because she graduated from Skyline in 2010. She walked the halls as a student and now walks through them as a teacher. She spent time with family and friends during her free time. Her favorite sport team is the Dallas Cowboys and her dream vacation would just be able to be by the beach and relax without any worries. The semester is almost over. Now is the time to begin studying for your ACPs and exams. If you're in a semester class, please make sure that you locate any textbooks you have checked out and get them returned to your teacher. Your long classes do not turn in books. Now it's time for your A segment. This November, the Defense Department celebrates National American Indian Heritage Month, honoring past and present American Indians who valiantly served the nation over generations. Prior to World War I, American Indians served as auxiliary troops and scouts for the U.S. military. It was in 1866 that the Army was officially authorized to enlist American Indians as scouts. The Indian scouts remained active into the early 20th century. At the beginning of World War I, the Indian scouts were deactivated. However, American Indians continued to serve. Approximately 12,000 American Indians served during the First Great War. It was during this time that the unique abilities of American Indians gave birth to the famous Code Talkers. Code Talkers transmitted messages in native languages that were indecipherable to enemy forces and today are credited for contributions to the U.S. military intelligence community. Code Talkers were vital all the way through World War II. From 1941 to 1945, more than 45,000 American Indians served in the military, well over 10% of the entire American Indian population at that time. American Indians continued to serve in huge numbers during the Korean conflict, where more than 10,000 served. Of those, three were awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. During the Vietnam War, more than 42,000 American Indians served in the military over the 20-year campaign. 90% of those were volunteers. Today, American Indians continue to serve in the military in high numbers with more than 30,000 actively serving across the services. For more than 200 years, American Indians have and continue to enrich communities and strengthen our country. That's all we have for today, Raiders. Be sure to catch up on All Things Skyline by following us at Skyline Broadcasting. And to make sure you never miss an episode of your Skyline Scoop, sign up to receive more broadcasts by texting at SKYN to 81010. Catch us every day at Skyline Broadcasting.org. And make sure to listen to tomorrow, since today, and every day in the cafeteria and anywhere in the world with Skyline Radio. I'm Jessica Raven, and from everybody here at Skyline Broadcasting, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. It's such a nice day to be on the main stage.